Hello everyone. I promised an update on what happened to me. So I thought I'd try to do this right now, get it out. I went uh, deer hunting and uh, the last couple of days it was cold and I had a mask on and I was breathing stuff in and I uh, ended up with pneumonia they believe. I've had walking pneumonia before, so it wasn't a surprise. But then I was out for two weeks. I mean, I was out. I don't know anything that lasted or happened the last two weeks of January. I started feeling better in February. I got better really good. And then I went down, couldn't breathe. And this is the first time I've, I've really felt good. I've had days through February was up and down, up and down. And finally in March, I had an incident that uh, scared me. And being hard headed, of course, everybody tried to get me to go to ER, go to, go to a doctor, do something. And hard headed me, nope, I didn't go. I, uh, I lay here in bed. I would get up and go make coffee or I would get something to eat. Uh, I didn't even get on a computer. I, uh, I did watch stuff on TV, but there was days that I did not feel like getting up. And I had a couple of nights where I even fell out of bed. I guess I was doing some fighting or whatever. And it's anniversary time. January 21st. That's when we got hit in caisson. That stuff, the movies and stuff, roll in my head. From actually Thanksgiving, it starts and goes through, gets worse after Christmas. And then January, February, March, April, uh, it, uh, I still got that film running. It's in black and white, it's in color. And I'm seeing everything that happened. And you can't stop it. Well, pneumonia, COPD, possible lung infection. Well, I went in the ICU. I was there for, I think, four days. They finally took me over to a ward because I'd gotten better for them. So I went to a ward and I was there for a couple of days. And uh, then they let me go home. I came home in the first couple of days, man, I felt good. And then I felt bad. Then I felt good. But I was not nearly as bad as I was in January, February. So I wanted everybody to know I'm doing better. They found some other things while they did the CAT scan. Uh, maybe problems with the colon. So we're going to be doing some stuff and trying to get ready to go in and have a colonoscopy and have everything checked out. But between now and whenever we get that scheduled, I've got a lot of doctor's appointments with the VA. Uh, I've got to see my regular doctor. i got to do lab. I'm going to a dentist. Uh, I've got a pulmonary thing they're going to do for me and then later on in March I'm going to be getting uh, pain blockers in my back and hips uh, then we'll see what date I can get in and get the colonoscopy done the VA wants me to do it with them and I told them I said you know a 30 minute ride to Leavenworth I what kind of mess am I going to have on the way? An hour ride to Topeka? No, that ain't going to happen. So I'm going to be talking to my primary doctor on the 22nd, and we'll see where we go from there because there's a lot of things that i got to do. And the, the colonoscopy's got to be done. So anyway, that's... That happens to everybody when they get over 40 years old or 50. It just depends on how long and how hard-headed you are. 
but I'm back. I'm not going to be spending a whole bunch of money now. I won't be doing too much bidding, but of course I want my copper pennies and I would like to buy some. So, but it looks like the mint's going to hit me up with back orders and back orders and back orders. And it looks like you're going to start piling it on and just at a time when I don't have the money to pay for it, but it's already been approved. And so I'll see you later. Hopefully uh, things will get better and we'll uh, go from there. Tomorrow I hope to see my brother. He's in uh, Kansas City VA and he's got problems. So I would ask for prayers for him. My brother Robert, he's five years younger than me. Please do send good vibes to him. Love you all. Talk to you later. Goodbye.